Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce the top 5 WordPress pop plugins to you. So let's start. To begin with, WP Pulse is a super easy solution for your WordPress site. This plugin enables you to easily customize your poll to your preference. Here's what a poll made with WP Pulse looks like. In order to create a poll, go to Add Poll. Type in your question and the possible answers in the given boxes. Add as many answers as you need. This option enables the users to choose more than one answer. And here you can schedule your poll. Now click on the Add Poll button and then move on to Poll Options. Choose the poll bar style or use a CSS style instead. You can enter a numeric value for the poll bar height. Here's how you can sort your answers and poll results. Next, specify who is allowed to vote. There are also some other useful options for you. Don't forget to save the changes. Last but not least, head to poll templates. Make your poll more engaging with the help of the template variables provided. Save the changes you have made in the end. On the Manage Polls page, you will see your poll ID. Open a page or post, click on text, then poll, enter the poll ID and hit OK. Now hit Publish and then follow the link. Here is the final view of my poll. And what about yours? The number 2 plugin on my list is Pollmaker. It appears to be a perfect solution for it's updated regularly. Here is an example of a poll made with Pollmaker. So, in order to make one, come to the General tab and give a title to your poll at first. This option implies that a new post will be created automatically and will include the shortcode of your poll. Now type in the poll question, then choose one of these poll types and do the setting up. Some types allow you to add images to the answers. Next, go to the Styles tab and try these amazing themes out. Choose the main color and the background image, set border radius and more. On the Settings tab, you can allow multi-vote, schedule your poll, enable answer randomization and answer sound. Moreover, you can allow the user to see the results without voting. Activate this option and provide a URL for redirection. Allowing users to add their vote reasons is another nice option on this tab. On the Results tab, provide the quiz takers with a results message. Choose a loading effect, enable the Restart button and the Social Share buttons. You can also show different messages based on the answers. Next is the Limitations tab that enables you to control the entries your poll can receive and identify who you capture data from. You can also limit your poll by country. Know more about your respondents by activating the Information form on the User Data tab. The Email Settings tab includes options intended for sending results both to the admin and the quiz taker. Finally, you are able to integrate your polls with different applications on the Integrations tab. I would highly recommend you to upgrade to the Pro version to access other really useful options. It only costs $27. Another great thing, hit the Upgrade button before deactivating the free plugin and your poll data won't be lost. YOP Poll is another chart-topping WordPress plugin that helps you create beautiful polls and surveys. This is a sample of a poll made with YOP Poll. Let's go through the steps of creating one. Firstly, head to Add New on the sidebar. Choose one of these templates. By the way, the first one is free. Now select a predefined style. Also, here is a large variety of custom styles. Afterwards, give a title to your poll. Enter your question and the possible answers to it. The plugin supports multi-vote. Decide whether to display the answers vertically, horizontally or in columns. So let's go over the options. On the Poll sub-tab, you can enable the total votes and answers to be displayed. Also, you can set start and end dates to your poll. Provide the URL for redirection. You can send email notifications and enable general data protection regulation as well. On the Access sub-tab, specify who can vote and who should be blocked. Coming to the Results tab, 
decide when to show the answers and how to sort them out. Now hit publish. In the end, copy the short code of your poll and put it into any post or page to display. I would suggest you upgrade the plugin to the premium version to access extra functionality. The cost varies beginning from $17 and ending to $57. Responsive Poll is a well-known WordPress plugin that stands out for its mobile-first design. You can observe a poll sample on your screen. So the first step in creating a poll here is to head to Poll Manager and click on Create Poll. Copy the short code right away. Write down the question and choose a theme for your poll. With the help of this plugin, not only can you create text polls, but image and video polls as well. Now it's time to add some answers to your question. Also, you can select colors for them. Next, come to Settings and click on the Edit icon. Define the start and end dates of your poll. You can change the text for these two features as well. Go into the Themes page, find the theme you have chosen and set it up. The first three tabs are free to access. In the end, insert the short code you have already copied into any post or page. That's it! The free version of the Responsive Poll plugin offers 18 themes. Instead, the premium version gives you access to over 200 styling options. The cost is from $15 to $35. With its unique and useful options, Democracy Poll is a quick and effective way to create polls. You can create polls similar to this one yourself. Let's head to Democracy Poll on the sidebar, then go to the Add New Poll tab. Fill in the given fields. Activate the poll, enable multivote and revote. You can display a short note under your poll Note that you should go to the Settings tab for more functionality. Coming to the Theme Settings, specify the maximum height of the poll in pixels, choose the preferred style for bullet points, buttons, and loader icons. Here, do some text changes necessarily. After all the changes you have made, click on the Add Poll button, copy the shortcode, and put it into a poster page as a final step. I hope you enjoyed the video and could single out the most suitable one for your website. Please share this handy guide with your friends. Thank you for watching.